So you're wondering what a type A light bulb is. Well, it's pretty simple. It's one of these guys, kind of the standard light bulb that you used to buy in packs of like 20 or something like that and have to replace every year. It's an incandescent bulb made of glass. It has the standard size base. Um, but these guys are kind of going the way of the dinosaur. Um, so I wanted to talk about a couple of things. But before I leave incandescence behind, I'm just gonna show you two other types, the CA candelabra, or I think this is the type G, which is round. So each shape has a different letter. But uh, what's be replacing the type A light bulb really at this point is the LED light bulb. So it's the same, you know, potentially the same shape and size, um, but it uses LEDs, which are just little semiconductors. Um, it's a lot cooler. It uses way less energy, like 80% less energy and lasts like 10 times as long. So it is more expensive, but in the long run, uh, because you would have to buy 10 of these, this guy actually ends up, you buy, buy 10 of these, and pay for the electricity to run it, this guy ends up a lot cheaper in the long run. Um, they also come in these, you know, kind of funky shapes, so you can get one that's flat. And what I like about these LEDs is they usually have plastic on the outside, so they're a lot less likely to break. Um, so I do a lot of stuff with photography. I love these guys because I can, you know, throw them in a box, move them around. Um, and I do want to comment on one more type of light bulb, which is the CFL, or compact fluorescent. So I use a lot of these. These have been popular. They've been around for 20 years or so. And um, they've got kind of the squiggly gas, glass tube. They are fragile though. And if you break them, there's mercury inside, which is like a toxic thing. So you've got like a super fun site inside your house. If you break one of these guys, um, there's a whole specific way that you're supposed to clean them up. Um, so these guys, the only reason I would buy one of these at this point in time is if you buy a really big one. So I'll buy them that are like humongous for photography um, and the LEDs to, to, to give you that much light are just out of control. So I will have links to all of this stuff at my Amazon store, which you can access down below. Thanks for watching.